All right, Gemini, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of May 10th through May 16th of 2021. So energy of the week, you have goddess of the moon. So Gemini, you're going to use your intuition this week. Um, goddess of the moon says that there is a message that needs to come to you. Um, it's possible that it's been trying and you don't understand. It could have something to do with moon phases. We do have that big super moon. Um, I believe we have an eclipse at the end of the month. Um, with it also so I think it's the 26th of May um, we do have the new moon which is coming in the 11th um, so I feel like it's possible this has something to do with new moon energy um, this intuition could be like new energies like maybe you've set intentions to understand something or get clarity on something and Gemini I feel like that is what's happening this week um, we are going to clarify with magical times cards Wow, this has been coming up a lot. Okay, so cycles. We're in some sort of cycles. I feel like it has something to do with the moon phases and the moon cycles. But it says we are all becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. I cannot believe how many times this card has came out. Um, just since I've started doing the 12 zodiac signs. But I'm very much getting that there is some sort of moon cycle that's happening um, that's really affecting all of us. It's possible that we're being hard on ourselves. Um, it's possible that we're fearful and, and refusing change. Something like that, Gemini. Alright, we are going to use right away to see if we can get a little bit more information. What is this cycle that has to do with the moon? How is it affecting you this week, Gemini? Mm. All right. So you have two of wands as your challenge or obstacle. So it's something you've been waiting for. Um, two of wands talks about needing to make a decision. Um, it's possible you've been waiting for some. Okay, so when I see the two of wands, it is about choices or making a choice. Um, it's about making an important decision but when i see this card i always feel like he's expecting so you have two wands and there's a, a choice like yes or no and he's always facing this side like he's expecting he has the world in the palm of his hand like he's trying to offer this gift to this side so this is what he's expecting but i feel like there's another choice that it's possible he's not seeing um because he's blinded by what he wants like what he thinks he wants something like that um, a lesson that you've already learned, Gemini, you have the moon. So the moon tells me you're on the right path, um, but you're fearful. And it does say to release your fear. So you have to have faith. You have to understand. Um, give your, tell you, your emotions need to have understanding that this is you are where you're supposed to be. Um, do you need to make a choice or a decision? It's possible that this choice or decision has to do with like your future, like where you're headed, something like that. Um, but you have strength. So the outcome is inner strength. Inner strength tells me um, it's almost like it's possible that spirit is bringing you this strength there's a decision you're having to make that's causing you to be very emotional and this week spirit is sending you a message that's going to cause you to give you this like really strong about your decision feeling is what i'm getting and i feel like whatever this decision is is going to have something to do with cycles so it's possible um, i do see the moon again so moon cycles um, but i'm getting like there's a cycle like something is done and it's time to choose something different. All right, Gemini, I want to say last week your cards had something to do with um, maybe like a, something being finished and time to move on to something else, something like that. Uh, we are going to clarify. We're going to use the Witch's Tarot to clarify this week. New deck, totally love them. Beautiful, bright cards. I love how modern the pictures are. Um, I don't have like the affiliate marketing thing set up yet. I am working on it, but I just really like these cards. So that's why they're here. <laughs> All right, let's see. For the Two of Wands, wow, the magician. Look, there she is on the box. I love when that happens. Okay, so the magician is, you've manifested something. Um, you're creating something. It's It also means like as above, so below, as within, so without. All right, Gemini. So if you're expecting something to be a certain way, 
Um, it's possible you're manifesting it that way because of your expectations. I'm getting that for somebody. Um, for the moon, the hanged one. Um, so your emotions could be keeping you like suspended. Um, your emotions could be keeping you stuck. You're not in the present. You can't, um, you're too worried about the past. You're too worried about the future, but you're not really worried. You're not thinking about like what's happening right now. Um, it's causing you to be very like highly emotional and your emotions could be controlling um, what it is that you're expecting and what it is that you're manifesting. But you have strength at the end of this week and I feel like you're getting this. It's possible it's just a part of a cycle, but I'm getting like um, spirit is sending you this, this strength. And you have the six of swords. So the six of swords talks about um, like leaving confrontation or leaving things that you had to be um, like hostile environments um any place where you felt like you really had to be strong and you didn't feel necessarily safe there um i feel like you were strong you made it through and now it's time for you to go something like that and when you're going i do want to say gemini you're going to a, like a safer environment you can always see like the water is real turbulent where they're coming from but the water is real still like where they're headed all right, we're going to do Queen of the Moon, and we'll do two of them like usual. One for the beginning of the week and one for the end of the week. And this is going to help give you guidance. So when you're sitting here with these expectations and you realize that it's possible you've manifested something or created something that maybe necessarily um, wasn't what you thought you wanted or wasn't what you thought it was going to be, something like that. Like, I feel like your expectations... Um, something happened with your expectations like you didn't trust yourself or you didn't understand the process you had fear so you chose something that you thought would be easier something like that and you've manifested something um it's caused you to be very emotional and just maybe even feel stuck i'm um, not sure like which way to go um feeling suspended like you're not really moving forward but you're getting this inner strength at the end of this week and it's going to help you move it's going to help you literally physically move like take an action move away from something something like that you have change so change talks about how change is always needed um, but we're always fearful of change and that would make sense so i feel like what's happening here is there's a decision that has to be made but this person is wanting to stay and whatever this thing is that they've created over here. Um, but it's time for something different to happen. And then you have assessing. Um, so when you do get at the end of the week, when you feel like you have the strength to move away from the situation or like to take an action, um, to move towards a more healthier environment, something like that, assessing says that you need to look back at all, like, how did you get here? Um, what happened to get to place you where you are today um how can you do things different what did you learn from those things assessing just says you're going over everything um that you've previously done so you can see how you can do it different maybe next time or how you can do it better next time something like that gemini all right we're going to end it with a moonology oracle and this is going to help with your thoughts and emotions um, I do feel like thoughts and emotions are high this week, especially with that moon coming out in the middle. Um, goddess of the moon, the cycles, mentioning fear. Ain't no, no one likes change and change is here. So let's see. It says take time to breathe out. So if you're finding yourself really busy, Gemini, or really stressed or really concerned about what's coming, stop. <laughs> take a moment. Believe in the impossible, the blue moon. This has been coming out a lot in this week's cards also. This is beautiful. And Gemini, have faith in your dreams. There we go. All right, I'm going to end it there. I feel like that is beautiful. You're going to have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.